Welcome to my channel. This tutorial series covers principles of fit in CLO. In this video, we will learn how to address the fit issues of a bodice with vertical folds between the waist and shoulder blades and an overall loose appearance throughout the midsection. Let's get started. All right, with this fit issue, we can tell that it's fitting pretty well throughout the shoulders and in the waist. The fitting issue is mostly through the midsection. So, and it's not necessarily a cup issue um, because the, you know, the cup seems to fit fine. It's just generally loose right here. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and grab that fullness point tool, which is right over here in the 2D toolbar. Um, click and hold on that third icon down, you'll find the fullness point tool. And then near the side seam along the waistline at the bottom, just go ahead and click maybe, you know, an inch or so away. And then keeping the line parallel, just go ahead and click on the arm size. So we're running a slash line parallel to the side seam on the front bodice. So that's, um, now we're clicking line DC, the arm side. And we're just gonna click the, whatever side doesn't have center front in it. So um, this little side piece right here. And um, I'm pulling it in. We're gonna make it this bodice smaller. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and then just right click my um, mouse and type in um, negative 0.5 inches. And that'll just take it in just that amount. And I'm kind of just guessing based on like, you know, this maybe looks about two inches too big all the way around. So if we, we take out um, 0.5 inches on each side, uh, you know, that's going to duplicate with the, the symmetric sewing. It's going to be two, about two inches all the way around. Go ahead and click OK. And then we're just going to repeat that process on the back. So clicking on line 2A, K, you know, just on the waistline near the side seam, drawing a line, a slash line parallel to that side seam, we're gonna go in and click on the arm side, click on the piece that does not include the center back, and then same idea, we're gonna go ahead and move this in and then right click and type in an exact amount, um, negative 0.5 inches, okay. All right, when I go ahead and simulate, you'll see that it really does a lot to kind of help pull that fullness out of there. But um, oftentimes when you do this, what happens is it makes the arm's eye too short. Um, she's got a really weird arm situation going on here, but it looks like um, it would actually ease some tension if we were just to loosen that um, a little bit just in the arm's eye. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and go to the edit pattern tool or the Z hotkey. That's right here in the 2D toolbar. And I'm just gonna click point D and pull it down along point, you know, along this line DE. And it kind of wants to lock into that line and I can see that pink guideline showing me that. And then as it's going down that line, just right click and you can type in a distance moved. And I'm just gonna lower that 0.5 inches, um, click okay. And then we're just gonna do the same thing on the back because we always wanna make sure that these are the same lengths because they're gonna sew together. So. I'm just clicking point J, dragging it down along line JK, and then typing in point five, and that will make sure that they stay true. Go ahead and simulate, and it looks like we are in business. There's like a little bit of weird pulling here, um, but I think if I just kind of move her around a little bit, that's just a part of um, it reflecting some of the, the past fit, and I could just kind of like have to massage some of those folds out. But that's all we have for today, folks. Thanks for um, joining, and I look forward to working with you in the next tutorial.